everyone will open it up for questions for either uh, Simone or Renee. Simone, uh, Cheryl was telling us you got some advice from your grandmother about shooting. Can tell us what that was about. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean... Say how she said it. No, I can't say how she said it, but okay. for the most part, she just said shoot the ball. Be <laughs> aggressive, which is what I've been hearing all week um, at practice from coach and everything. So it just kind of, you know, completed my week to have my grandmother call and uh, look, shoot the ball tonight. I was like, okay, granny. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's the gist of the story and the reason why I was so aggressive tonight. How often did she call you and tell you to shoot? This was the first time, so it surprised me. It surprised me. I mean, but she was ready. My family was ready. They were all over at her house. They had their links gear on and they was ready to go. So when she gave me that phone call, I knew it was every time. So what did that message to the whole team? Yeah. The way you guys were shooting threes tonight? Well, I, I, yeah, I kind of mentioned it to him and gave him a laugh. So uh, I think it just had a trickle down effect. Renee's been shooting well for the last few games. But, um, I mean, for the rest of us, that's something that we've been doing over the last eight days, just getting shots up, getting reps up. Thanks for um, <laughs> getting reps up and, um, you know, trying to create a, a situation where we can loosen up the defense facility. Small and Cheryl talked about kind of letting you rest a little bit in the regular season, not playing in maximum minutes. Was that tough to accept, or were you able to focus on your play? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. I was, I was looking for Gia a couple times. <laughs> you got me? Um, but, no, you have to understand that, you know, at our age, we're getting older. Um, we have to be smart about it. And Coach Reeve has coached veteran teams before with um, the Detroit Shock. So, um, you know, basically whatever she says goes. And my body feels great. Obviously, you can see with the results of tonight and the way I played the season. So I just felt the punches. Renee, uh, Cheryl was saying that you kind of were hard on yourself early on when you were put in the starting lineup for Lindsay. Uh, how did you kind of work through things and make sure that you were – playing at a better clip and, and feeling better about yourself going into the playoffs here? Um, I just try to stop worrying about so much, you know. I wanted everything to basically be perfect. It's like, you know, somebody gives you a Maserati, they gave me the keys to the car, and I don't want to hand it back to Lizzie, like, broke down, you know. So that was kind of my main focus. And it was more so, too, like, you don't, like, me and Weezy, you know, we got this thing. So I didn't want to, you know, make her feel some type of way. Like, when you're out, you already want to be, you know, you feel bad. So I wanted, like, you know, for everything to go okay for her. So I was more so mad at myself, you know, for we're losing, we're letting down Wheezy, obviously, my team, too. So I had to kind of, yeah, I had to kind of let that, like, I want it to be perfect go. How did you do that? Oh, um, you know, I just prayed about it. <laughs> really, honestly, I prayed about it, like, just to, you know, just go out and play and things will work themselves out. Um, like I said, I to have the chemistry with the starters, I think it's going to help in the long run. But you know, we don't play that many minutes together with with the whole starting lineup. So for me, it was it was a whole different feel. You know, they have different things that they like to do. They have different ways that they play. And then I played with the bench. So um, just kind of actually watch watch a lot of film as well. Just seeing like you know, okay, so this is what Pook would like to do. You know, just trying to make it more so regular for them. When did you feel like? When do you feel like you kind of turned that corner? Because you were clearly on an upward path as yeah. the regular season ended. Um, like I said, I just prayed about it and just started watching film just to see, like, okay, what are they used to doing in the first five minutes? Because usually I come in after the first five minutes. So I kind of just started watching a lot of film with the first five minutes of the game, you know, first five minutes of the second, third quarter, just to see, okay, how do the things flow with them? Where do they like to, you know, what do they like to do? What plays do they like to run? So just kind of try to get them in their comfort zone. I know I'm different than Wheezy, but just try to keep people in their comfort zone. You had a clutch three in the, at the end of the third tonight, going into the fourth. What was going through your head? Get a shot up. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, and I would love to say something profound, but really I saw the shot clock going down, and uh, I just wanted to get a shot up. Coach hates it when we don't. <laughs> so I had to get something going at the rims. Any other questions? So, 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 so well, Simone, you also had a career high in assist this year. Was that uh, a mindset, or was that because Sylvia was just open? Yeah, that was about to just say. Sylvia was just open, but I mean, um, I was making a conscious effort to, to try to be aggressive, but if not, make the extra pass. We've got too many great players on this team, both that starts and come off the bench, um, to be able to just, you know, have to play one on one or create tough shots. So make the extra pass. That's what we've been talking about all season. Our team is at its best when we force defenses to kind of move around and, and shift, move the ball, move players. Um, so thank you to Sylvia and then the rest of my teammates who were able to. You know, make shots off of my sense. John, Simone, last question. Simone, current college basketball in here, a lot of teams say it's just strange shooting in here with the floor and the background. Obviously, you guys have been in a bunch of problems tonight. <laughs> is it different at all? I mean, Renee, do you think, is it different, either of it? 
Uh, it's different. Um, it is different just on how I think the floating court is just a whole different feel in general. I I told our trainer, uh, K Baby, that I'm probably gonna fall off the floor. Like I kept just I have this fear that I'm gonna fly off the floor. Um, and it's not really gonna happen. I don't think. But um, <laughs> but um, no, it is a different feel. But uh, we had a couple practices here, and um, I think you you adjust at any point. You know, shooters adjust. The only thing I had to prepare for was squats. <laughs> step it up and down. Yeah, step it up, step it up. yeah, it was a killer. And plus the steps going up to the court. So also, also we can't celebrate. You know, we we're really you know we have celebrations that we like to do. And I feel very confined <laughs> down there. It's like nobody puts baby in the corner. I feel like I'm in the corner. But what can you do? We can't do our celebrations like we like. I wanted everybody to jump up. People's knees. Okay, so. <laughs> so. The oldest team in the league. To jump the, up there. Jump up. Yes. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? People didn't want to do that. We so can now step we, up. It's not as exciting if we step up. But, <laughs> so you see what I'm dealing with? <laughs> All right, John, last question. Simone, is, is there, uh, for you, I mean, getting through the regular season, you guys expect to be in the playoffs every year. Is there a different switch that turns when these playoff games start or different mentality or anything like that? to keep the old truck going. <laughs> we keep we keep it going. Um, but obviously, we always talk about um, the regular season games being playoff games and these games being championship games. As far as the focus, like now we can actually strive for our goal, which is to win a title. So uh, the the passion, the emotion, the focus, the intensity that we may have kind of you know placed kind of sparingly in a regular season just kind of took our time. Now you can see the hunger of um, us trying to get our goal. Um, thank you. Come again.